Here we are, as you would have seen from the title, we are, we're back in Coffin Bay for another, what do we got? Three nights. Three nights in Coffin Bay, so a bit of a long weekend, but uh, we have pretty much raced here. Um, got here as quick as we can, set up as quick as we can to head to... Oyster HQ. Oyster HQ, which is the, the, um, the restaurant right on the beach in Coffin Bay. Um, the reason we've come back to Coffin Bay is simply we only got the bloody one night here and it's a, it's a beautiful little spot. So, we're back in Coffin Bay. You're going to try your first oyster. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe. And I guess we're just going to spend the weekend checking out Coffin Bay and actually, actually relaxing and seeing a bit of Coffin Bay without being in a rush. But let's get to it, eh? Let's get some food. Everything's all set up. We are pretty much happy days here. So let's get across the road down there to, what's it called? Oyster HQ. Oyster HQ. Here we are, Oyster HQ. Oh, you're joking. Oyster Express. <laughs> HQ Oyster Express. There you go, vending machine for oysters. We recommend you eat and them mussels. within two days. That. That's a good idea, isn't it? Sounds so nice. Well, we might have to might have to come back and get some of these tomorrow or something. Anywho, let's get into it. Eh? Tapas. How is that poor on your rating? It's a poor poor. <laughs> That's shocking, isn't it? Get the head on it. That is shocking. If you worked in a bar, you'd be fired. Lucky I didn't work. I've never worked in a bar, so. Are you excited to try an oyster? Not really. <laughs> Going for a mixed grill. A couple of different ones to choose from. Italian, Chinese and Kilpatrick. And you're just going to pick the best one or you're going to try one of each? I will try to try one of these. <laughs> we'll see. I look so good. They smell really fishy. <laughs> Go on, mate, dive in. Which one looks like the best that I'm going to be able to bear first? This one. It's going to build my confidence. Yeah, go on then, dive in, you're up. What do I do? Shovel it down your head. Yeah, scoop it all around and get it all unstuck and... <laughs> I've chosen the small one. Put the shell in your mouth and then scoop it all in. Hard to chew it, you know that. You'll be all right. Chew it, you get more flavour, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Got this, so he's struggling. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought, but they're cooked, right? You've done well. I'll give you that. <laughs> Cheers. Now, can I have some? Yes. <laughs> oh. That's how you do it. Mm. Good? They build. Really good. Alright, you hooked now, aren't you? Chinese. Chinese style. This will be different because it's not like covered in cheese. Mm. Might not like it, might put me off. Oh. <laughs> Give us a look, show the show. It's like a bow here. Mmm. Put me off already. Go for the scoop. Got your hook now, haven't we? That one's nicer than that one. Yeah. Mm. What? Like less flavour or more flavour? Ah. Do you want to try 
Now you can really taste that oyster at the end. Ah, beautiful. Well, we've we'll got your hook now. Go okay, in that one. That was nice. After this plate, we'll get a fresh plate, eh? No toppings? No. Uncooked? No. <laughs> Redemption. So, next we've got Kingfish Sashimi. <laughs> you know how to work that. <laughs> no, I don't do I. Let's Kingfish see. sashimi and Korean chicken. Korean that chicken. Is so good. But we've gone kingfish over tuna just because we both enjoy kingfish a lot more. And fingers crossed one day we can get a hold of one down here. But that what is this? That's what it wouldn't have a clue. <laughs> Go for it. Give us, give us a shot. What's it like? I hope this is inspired. Good. Mm. Oh, you can't be kingfish. You don't know how to work them either. I used to. They're very stainless steel. Yeah, they are. That's my excuse too. Let's just go with that. They're extremely stainless steel. Here's your fork. I like kingfish. It's good, isn't it? Eyes are bigger than your mouth, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Righto. What do you reckon? Finish this. Bedtime. Get up in the morning. Get into exploring. The rest of Coffin Bay, maybe, fingers crossed, we can get the tinny out, we'll see how we go. Sounds good. But Oyster HQ, oysters, top notch. Oysters for you? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, would have again. Perfect. Cheers, guys. The next morning, found the little dinosaur, mate. Mm. But we are coffeeed up in Coffin Bay. You got your soy milk? Cheers. And we're heading to the... National Park, Coffin National Bay Park. National Park. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, we just got stuck with this weather again here in Coffin Bay. I'd really love to get beautiful weather. The weather that you see on all the pictures where it's just a lot like Queensland and sort of um, Airlie Beach and with Sundays, all like that. However, Does... it is June and it is Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's winter, it's freezing, but it's still a beautiful day. So, what do you reckon? Let's get out of here, head towards the National Park. Yeah. Which we're not too sure what we're gonna see there. We haven't really looked at anything, planned anything. Just gonna wing it. Okay, so we, before we took off, we did go to the, you went to the. That was unexpected. <laughs> You went to the office. the office at the caravan park and picked up this little map, Coffin Bay National Park. Little bit of information. Um, God, it's even got information on 
the boating around the area, the bay, which is pretty cool. But we are just gonna pretty much head out towards the Coffin Bay National Park. Uh, what I was talking about with the weather wise is these are all the photos that you see of Coffin Bay. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, but like so said, it's winter. So we don't know how they're gonna go, but we're just gonna head to them, see what they look like. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the sun does come out and we can pick up some beaches just like that. Go for a swim? Hell no, it's freezing. <laughs> Alrighty, entry to Coffin Bay National Park. A little bit of information here. And $13 we had to pay. 13 $13. Yeah, it does say on the website $10.50. Then when you click on everything, it, yeah, it goes to $13, which is what it is, I guess. But we're all paid up, we're ready to go. We're ready to go and explore the park. Hopefully spot one of them. Ro Rosenberg's Goanna. And Emu's on the beach. All right, let's keep moving, huh? You read that? Ah. King tides. Yeah, right, eh? We'll have to have a look at the tides which are right under it. So. Alright, let's get out of here. Go and see a bit of this, I guess. It's raining. It's raining. Gotta tell you, it's raining. It's going to be raining tomorrow, too. It wasn't supposed to rain today, was it? I mean, a couple of droplets so far. So far, no good. <laughs> Fingers crossed it clears up. Alrighty, first stop is... Something Lookout. <laughs> We're right at the beginning of a pier. There is on that little sign there, and I reckon that one there has got the name, but they haven't got a name of it here. Uh, it is a short little lookout, boardwalk up to a little lookout up here. And you're already pretty blown away with the views, aren't you? Really pretty. Look at that, that's pretty cool. So you can look back that way, oh there you go. Look back that way, you've got Golden Island. Cross Island. Oh look at the island. Yeah, like 360 degree views here. Right out in the distance there, you can see Coffin, Coffin Bay, I believe. Can you see Coffin Bay? Yeah, you can see the houses. Right, good little first stop, but we are going to keep on moving because it is cold, and uh, it still doesn't say what this lookout is here. Ah, uh, that's all right. We'll drop it. We'll drop it below what the lookout is, but definitely, definitely stop and have a little look at this oh, it one. It doesn't begin with a pit. It begins with a T. Ah. Templetonia. Templetonia lookout. Definitely stop. Check it out. It's a good little stop. This one.
All right, Golden Island. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. That's right. This is a, well, it's a little lookout and a beach. Uh, we weren't really gonna stop here. We were gonna stop up the top up there. There's another little lookout, but we're the only ones here. It's still so blue. It's, yeah, it's incredible. You like it? Look at that photo, that's a good photo. It's got huge potential, I reckon. If that sun was out, this, this would be amazing. Yep. Yeah. Once you get some good weather and come back, get the tinny on, tinny in out there. All right, we'll get up to that lookout just up there, but it'd be bloody awesome to have the tinny out in there. Or even be able to go around that island and fish around the back of the island, but it looks really, really nice ground out there. Anyway, on to the next little lookout. I think we're just gonna be overlooking this island again. So do you know what that island is? This one, I think it's called Price Island. Price, and then that's golden. Yep. See the two pink and greys? <laughs> There's two pink and greys down there on the rocks with a seagull. All right, we've made it to Yangi Bay. Yangi Bay Campground, is that right? Which we're not gonna jump out and film. We're not gonna stop here as there's... School trip. Yeah, two school buses with kids running everywhere. It looks like absolute chaos, but it is a campground. Um, looks pretty bloody decent. There's pretty big spots there and everything on Wiki Camps is pretty good. Just that there's kids running around. We don't really wanna jump out and be in the middle of the, the chaos. So we're gonna keep on going where this road turns into a full drive. drive track or unsealed road. So I think we're just gonna go as far as we can there. Yeah, really feel comfortable going as we have got the problem with the tides, the king tides, soft sand with all the rain around as well. And being the quiet time, there's not a lot of other people out here, apart from kids, kids everywhere. There's not a lot of other cars out this way if we do need help. So I think we'll just go until it gets a bit hairy and then we'll just spin around and head back. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds good. Nah, we ain't going that far. We're letting tires down. It's too much. Right 
So over there in the distance where you can see the bus, I believe that is Yangi Bay Campground. Um, you can see a caravan on top of the hill. But a good little spot, protected in a nice little bay, Yangi Bay. I don't know if you can launch a boat or anything there, but it'll be a cool little spot to canoe, kayak in this little bay. Hey, buddy. Alright, we've come as far as I think we're probably going to go. This is, uh, it sort of turns into beach access from here on. And we haven't let the tyres down, so I don't really want to let the tyres down. But already, it's a lot rougher over this side, isn't it, compared to the other side where we were at. Rougher and windier. I don't know where you get on the beach. The track does go up there and I think it goes onto the beach down there. And then around the point you're on the beach, but that's a high tide as well, isn't it? King tide. So probably a, probably a good idea to not go any further. But a cool little spot. Apparently really good fishing too, King George Whiting. Uh, not that I'm gonna be trying in this wind. There's no real point. Open bay straight over there. And a bloody ripper view. Ripper view of the mountains, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Cold? <laughs> that wind freezing. Anywho, let's get on out of here out of the wind, back in the heater of the car and head back towards Copper Bay, eh? Yeah. Back to the warmth. So I'm pretty glad I didn't put the boat in as well as uh, this is the main channel out of Coffin Bay. All the photos you see, this is absolutely perfect, like glass. And there is, I believe it's this island straight out here. Think the Two Brothers Islands. It's um, a beautiful photo with the drone. I think it's on the Coffin Bay Visitor Centre picture, but a good little spot.
back in Coffin Bay at the park and here they are <laughs> chilling out at our front patio but I think we're just relaxing for this afternoon aren't we? Yes. Kick back, have a beer with the kangaroos Wash my hair. and relax before this weather comes in. Looks like it's gonna rain tonight. It's supposed to rain tomorrow isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh here they go. They've perked up. I've heard you. Clean these up. Oh, was that you? I think there's one behind you as well, nearby. No? Hey, can you clean these up? I don't want to step on these in the morning. Just like that, our second stay in Coffin Bay is all over, wrapped up. We are getting on out of here. And uh, so much for the rain that was supposed to be coming today. Looks like it's the, the best day we've had here so far. <laughs> um, which is, that's a bit, I don't know, spewing about that, but the water looks incredible. Anywho, we'll stop in at another little cafe, get a coffee on the way out. Probably try and fly the drone as well before we leave, as it is a beautiful day. Everything looks like glass out there in the water. Um, and then we'll get on out of here. Hopefully one little stop on the way back to Sojourner. Other than that, that's gonna be us, straight I reckon. Straight back, yep. Straight back, straight back to work tomorrow. But a good little stop, Coffin Bay. I really do like Coffin Bay. It's, um, I don't know, something about this little place. Mm. You can tell in the summer that it's just, just flat out. Every second house is a rental. Maybe you wouldn't like it in the summer. Yeah, yeah, it might be too many people in the summer, but um, it's just a stunning little spot. Heap of islands, heap of little bays. I like it, I'm a fan. So the little cafe, the Peckish Pelican. Coffee and cakes or just coffee? Just coffee and then hopefully it, yeah I reckon we'll make it. They do the brownie at the Oyster HQ, uh, I might yep. pick one of those yep. up. Get a brownie on the way out, but have a look at these little fellas. You reckon they've been under this tree for... Since we left last Since we time. left last time. This must be their little home. Hello fellas. He's, he's sizing you up there. <laughs> yeah, he's not interested. Let's get a cuppa. Get on out of here. Hello? 
<laughs> they look a bit evil, don't they, with their like yellow eyes, yellowy red eyes. Yeah. Alrighty, let's get out of Coffin Bay. Um, as you would have seen there, the weather's getting absolutely beautiful on the drone footage. Anywho, uh, one last little stop for you. And you, do you not And me, one? yeah, I suppose. Uh, back to the Oyster HQ um, brownies. Yeah, apparently they do really good brownies. Yeah, the rumor is the brownies are second to none, so we'll stop in there a brownie each, two brownies for the road. And uh, do we need any oysters? We can get oysters back in Sejuna, can't we? Yep, but that's us in Smoky Bay. You're not Smoky Bay, you're in um, Coffin Bay. Coffin Bay, I'm getting all my bays mixed up. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. Righto, our first and I guess our only stop on the way home is Locks Well. Locks Well. We've pulled in here a couple of times and we sort of hummed and hard about whether to do the walk down to the to Locks Well, which is down that way, as you have to park your caravans all the way at the top here. And I think it's a it's a fair old hike down there. It looks like a fair old hike. We could disconnect the van and drive the car down there which is not a, a half bad idea but um you need to get steps so let's get into it walk down there i believe it's just a nice viewing point you got any ideas no idea no idea just a nice viewing point yeah. and uh, i think you can walk down the steps onto the beach but that's even more steps and i don't think it's worth it from what i hear but uh let's start this walk It's going to be a fair old hike, isn't it? <laughs> Holy dooly, mate, that's a bit of a walk. Do you reckon we should have unhooked the van?
Jeez, what do you reckon you're going down there? No. There's a fella down there fishing. No, why am I going down there? That's a hell of a hike from where you gotta park the caravan. Um I don't think I'm gonna be getting down there where he is. Alrighty. Locks well, not a lot of information. No information. <laughs> but uh bloody epic view. It's stunning, isn't it? It's yeah, cool little spot this one. I don't know if it's a surf beach or what, but there's some nice waves rolling through. So I'm over here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if people surf here or not, but nice waves coming through. Well, that explains that. No surfing, no swimming. Um, does seem a bit rough, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, there's some cool waves through there, but it's a bit rough, a bit chaotic. Anywho, let's get out of here, hey? Let's head up, back up. Do you want to go the road or the, the track? Road. Road? We'll try the road. We did read on Wiki Camps that the roads a little bit quicker but we only just read it now so let's get out of here probably steeper too looks a bit steeper <laughs> what's easier Roads quicker. Roads quicker, but not Steeper. as easy. Steeper. Right, that's locked well, ticked off and done. Definitely worth a stop in. Um, I'd say it's probably easier to unhook. That way you can go down to the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but walking from the top, geez, it's long. <laughs> right, eh? we got another two hours to Sojourner. Touch wood, it's three. all gonna go three hours. We haven't made it that far. Fair enough. Touch wood, that's all gonna go nice and easy. Anywho, let's go. Let's go.
<laughs> Hopefully we can see it. Emus, kangaroos, wombats. Doubt it, doubt we'll see wombats, but emus and kangaroos should be everywhere. Hopefully. Now we're just looking at bushes. There they're going up the hill. There's two of them. Maybe the camera's good. Um, good chat.